Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica. A couple of weeks ago, I noticed that my hair was starting to turn yellow. And at first I thought it was just in my head, but it's getting worse. It's not the color of my hair underneath. This is actually a very light tint of brown. It almost looks like my hair is dirty. If I put it up against the crown of my head, you can definitely see a difference in color. It's a little difficult to see the yellow in the video, so here is a photo of it. I did not realize how hard it would be to get rid of it. I've been looking around for a solution to get rid of the yellow. I do use purple shampoo, but it doesn't seem like it's helping very much. So I looked online and I found several different do-it-yourself recipes that you can use to get rid of yellow hair. I did find one recipe that I think might work. I do have to use hydrogen peroxide. So I am going to just apply it to the bottom half of my hair. And then that way, if something goes wrong, I can just cut it off. If I use it on all my hair, well then I'll have to shave it off and I don't want to do that. So my plan today is to try the recipe out on my hair and then hopefully the yellow will be washed out. So what I have to do is I have to mix 3% hydrogen peroxide, water, and my favorite conditioner. And I'm supposed to put that in a spray bottle I won't use a spray bottle because I just really want to get the yellow parts out, so I'm going to use my hands, but you're supposed to use the bottle. I am supposed to spray clean, damp, non-conditioned hair with the mixture and comb it through my hair with a wide tooth comb or pick and then leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes before rinsing and then repeat once a week to prevent buildup. And this is supposed to get rid of yellow and make my hair bright and shiny. So I am going to hop in the shower and wash my hair with some shampoo and get my hair nice and damp. And then I will put the mixture together and put the mixture on my hair and hope for the best. So I'll see you in just a bit. I washed my hair with shampoo and now I am ready to put the mixture together. We need to mix equal parts of water, peroxide, and conditioner. So I've got the water. Peroxide. I'm assuming that the peroxide is going to be very drying. So I'm not excited about that. But I guess that's why we use all this. And we just mix it up together. So it's actually thick enough to where I could just apply it with my fingers, which is what I plan on doing. So I am just going to be applying it to the ends, which is where all the yellow is. And maybe I'm putting too much. Okay. So I'm going to sit with it in my hair for 15 minutes, rinse it off really well and then I'm going to let my hair air dry on its own I don't want to put any heat on it my hair is completely dry and I can definitely see an improvement in the color of my hair it looks like the yellow has faded quite a bit but there is still some yellowing so what I'm going to do is I am going to try it again in one week and hopefully that will get out the rest of the yellow color. I was really worried that my hair was going to get really dry because of the peroxide, but my hair actually feels so soft and so silky. Here are the instructions for the hair treatment that I used. Stay tuned to the end of the video so you can see if it really works. And I am back with the results. I have used this mixture for a total of three times. So the first time, as you saw in the video, I only applied it to the bottom half of my hair. 
I left it on for 15 minutes, washed it off, and let my hair air dry. And uh, it did remove a lot of the yellow, but not all of it. So I waited a week and I applied the treatment again, but this time I applied it all over. I started down at the bottom and I worked my way up and I left it on my hair for 20 minutes and I rinsed it off and I let my hair air dry and it removed most of the yellow. There was just a hint of yellow left. So I waited until this week. This is my third time and did the same thing. And I can happily say that I am now yellow free. I have no yellowing left in my hair. It took it all out. It took three washes, but it got rid of all of it. It not only got rid of the yellowing, but it made my white hair whiter and brighter. And my hair is so soft and silky and shiny and bouncy. Here are the before and after photos. This photo was taken before I applied the treatment. This was taken after the first treatment. This is after the second treatment. And this is after the third treatment. Here are side-by-side -side photos of my hair to compare. There is definitely a huge difference in the color. The before photo was taken before I tried the treatment and the after photo was taken after the third treatment. As you can see, this stuff works. It might work the first time for you or it might take a few treatments. It might take three treatments like it took for me or it might take more depending on how much yellow you have. I really, really love this treatment. I'm so glad I found it. I have seen some recipes where you can just use the peroxide and the conditioner. And that makes me kind of nervous because it's not diluted enough. This recipe that I used uses water, which makes it a little safer for me at least. I'm just really afraid to apply anything that's too concentrated. So adding the water in there dilutes the peroxide a little more, which feels like a safer route. For those of you who may want to try this mixture, do what I did and either just apply it to the area that's yellowing, hopefully it's the ends, so you can just keep it down below, or just do a little spot treatment and see how your hair reacts the first time. And don't leave it on as long. I left it on for 15 minutes the first time, and then once I knew that it didn't damage my hair at all, or there was not going to be any issues, the next time I used the treatment, I left it on for 20 minutes and I put it all over my head. Make sure you have a towel because it does get kind of drippy just to protect your clothing and so you don't get all wet and use a spray bottle so that way you're able to control where it falls. Using my hands was not a good idea, it was just super messy. Let me know if you tried this out and if it worked for you. I have posted the link to the blog where I found this recipe down at the bottom. She's got a lot of really great advice and a lot of great info on how to take care of gray hair. So check out that blog. It was very helpful to me. I'm so thankful to her. I am definitely going to be using my mixture every week to keep my hair bright, white, and healthy. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.